next in the tank is a little space when you need it the most. Hey Sharks, I'm Robbie. And I'm Allison, and we're neighbors from Columbus, Ohio, here seeking $300,000 for 5% of our company. When you think back to the past year, what is the one thing in the world that people craved? More space. So that's exactly what we did. We've created more space for everyone. So let us introduce you to Oopbox, an outdoor plug and play experience. It could be a backyard office. Or, as this model shows, it can be a pop-up shop. It could even be an outdoor conference room. It's a convenient space that's temperature controlled, soundproof, flexible, and can be set outside in any environment. At 80 square feet, an Oopbox is a beautiful, bright, eco-friendly space made from an upcycled shipping container. It can be delivered anywhere and used for anything. We make it so simple for our customers. An Oopbox rolls off the back of a truck, plugs into any outlet, and it is ready to go. Sharks, Oopbox is the future. Demand has been increasing ever since our recent launch, and now we need your help to keep up with that demand. So who here is an out-of-the-box thinker and wants to step inside this box and join us on our journey. Huh. So you are taking old shipping containers, recycling them, cleaning them up, and putting on doors? We actually, we cut them in half. They're, they're 20 foot duo cons, and we infill the sides to make these beautiful spaces that we can put anywhere. Robbie and Allison, I don't understand the need for this product. Can you please tell me? Oh, I can, I can come up with a thousand reasons for it, mm -hmm. but the question is how much? So let me tell you about our business model first. That's, that's always a scarier response to a simple question. <laughs> well, so we lease them and we sell them. Mm. Okay, for when you sell them. They start at 20,500. Ouch. 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 I agree with you now, Daniel. What does the market think? How many of you sold? Our revenue to this point is $950,000 this year. Oh, oh good for you. And okay. how long have you been in business? Since June, 2020. Are there zoning ordinances in place that would forbid you in certain towns for dropping them off in a backyard? They can go anywhere. Technically, we're considered a tool shed. Ah. This is for a temporary use. Oh. This is for somebody who is spending his or her time working on the toilet to get away from their kids, which, again, is not going away, mm. right? Exactly. <laughs> That's not going away. Okay, and how much money have you raised to date? So we've raised $870,000. And how much of the company did you give away? 30%. And what are your margins on this? When we sell it, it's about 40%. We, we, each box costs us $12,000 to build. Most people are leasing them for between $800 and $1,000 a month. Do many of the people who lease from you do it short term and convert to a customer who buys? The average lease term right now is about eight months, and about 60% of our clients have renewed their lease, gotten an additional box, or requested to purchase the box that they have. To me, it seems like a clever idea, fit with COVID perfectly. But I don't think that this is the right investment. It's just not something that I would be excited about. So I'm sorry I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. You know what I don't get? You raise $870,000. Why are you trying to raise $300,000? Why do you need that money? Right now, our capacity is about five boxes a month that we're doing. We need more space. We see the potential to grow exponentially, and that's what we need this money for. But, but, that, but that's the challenge, guys, right? You're constrained by your capital and your time and the availability of the boxes. What I look to invest in are hockey stick businesses, where they kind of feed on themselves and grow themselves, and they're not necessarily fully capital constrained and time constrained. It's not the right kind of business for me to invest in, so for those reasons, I'm out. I feel like a significant portion of the momentum that you have is connected to COVID. It's not clear to me that it's not connected to COVID and the valuation seems uh, to not factor that in. So I wish you the best, but for those reasons, I'm out. 
I mean, I get it. Sales say everything. The trouble with this business, due to its capital requirements, the capital goes in, the more successful you are, it's impossible to get it back out. I hate doing deals where I kiss my money goodbye and then I never see it again. I like it where there's a way for me to get it back. And I'm not greedy and I'm very creative and I am Mr. Wonderful. So here is what I'm thinking. I give you the $300,000, I take the 5% just so I'm a partner in the business, but this is a royalty deal for sure. And so the way what it works surprise. is every <laughs> silence, Barbara, because you don't have any creativity on the I, I'm sure you're right, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I give you the 300,000. Every time you sell a box, you give me back $1,000. Well, what happens if they lease it? Yeah. Right. They're, they're it's an amortized the payback on the lease. I'm getting a portion of the lease. It's a way for me to get my capital back, but I want to make back 600,000 before the royalty goes to zero. And I think what's going to happen is half your people will buy themselves out at some point. Well, royalty is kind of hard to understand on, on this type of product, at least for me. I'm going to tell you why I think your model is so ingenious. Thank it's you. identical to a business I invested in, Boho Vans. They were renting camper vans, retrofitted camper vans that look cool. I think they had maybe $250,000 in revenue. And one year later, they had $5 million. It blew up. You're doing the identical thing. I like to make you an offer of three hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent. Let me defend the twenty percent. Whoa, twenty percent! You could say that, all right? That's I'll tell a you lot. something. I'll Versus tell you. Versus five percent? That's a really big difference. Thank the difference you, is Kevin. one's understandable, one's less. <laughs> one's, well, I can explain mine very simply. You got to give me back my capital times two. That's easy. I guess a great offer. What are you gonna do? 20% might sound rich to you, but you will never get someone with my skill set to explode your business like I will do. I don't sell product, I build businesses. That's what I'm good at. I did I it for her. myself. I love words too, but 20% is 20%. 20% is 20%. I'll tell you what I'll do, just to have fun, just to have fun and to make Barbara's night more interesting. Forget the whole royalty thing, I'll do it for 15%. I'll give you 300,000 for 15% right now. Wow. Barbara, yes, did you dear. do 300,000 for 7%? No. How much? 7%. Seven. I thought I heard 17%. I was insulted. You, I'm more insulted by 7 Well, no. what about if we did 7 plus some loan aspect? No, but I'll do it for 10 if you say yes right now. It's not, a fair, it's right not now. a fair question. Pardon it's not a fair question to make us commit to that without talking. So we would like to Of course talk. it is. The biggest mistake entrepreneurs make standing on that carpet is having a line in the sand at a certain valuation. That is the biggest mistake they always make. I'm, I'm just saying that we should discuss before answering without discussing. But may I say something to you? That's a lawyer talking, not an entrepreneur. Yeah, it's, it's a cautious <laughs> it's and it's what you're okay, training Just to have before. fun, I'll do it for 9%. Oh, what a bastard. Just, just having fun. <laughs> you can you know, let we're him... both Canadian, so there's a little I'm bit of I'm having fun there. with it because I actually think there's value here and I love to squeeze Barbara's head once in a while. You know what? There's something about that 10% number that makes you feel like something's worthwhile. That all your effort and all your energy and all your intelligence is put into something and it's acknowledged as worthwhile. I'll do it for nine, no problem. It's up to you. Barbara, we accept your offer. Smart you people. Great. Kevin, we like yours too. I'm just happy to have saved you basically 10%. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. It. We very much we, appreciate no your support. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. You got a goal, my son. Congrats for all the analysis. Thank you. Very excited and to you, work you with you. You managed it so well. You thank, know? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Going into this, we are hoping to get a deal with Barbara. This is really a dream come true for us. And what's even better, Kevin did all the negotiation for us. I mean, that was amazing. Thank you, Kevin. You can thank Congrats, me, Barbara. Barbara. Well done. You weren't out to help me. Who are you kidding? You weren't out to help me.